Hi, I'm Oliver P and the P stands for police because there are police featured here in this book, The Underdogs, and I'm going to give you five reasons why you should read this book right now. Woof, 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 buck, 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 meow. Hey Tree Gum Gums, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, sub and share if you care. And today's book review is the first in the Underdog series, written by Ken and Joe Temple and illustrated by the lovely Shallow Gordon. Now this book here is the first adventure, Catch a Cat Burglar. It's fantastic. It's about a cat named Fang. And she's over here, this lovely crafty cat. She happens to live in Dogtown, which is a town for dogs, duh. But she wants to be a detective, and so she decides to join the Underdogs Detective Agency. Now, obviously, she's a fish out of water, or in this case, a cat in a dog's world. But Barkley, the head guy here, this gruffy German shepherd, he decides to give Feng a chance because there's a cat burglar in Dogtown and they need to find out who that cat burglar is. Spoiler alert, it's not Fang, even though she's a cat. Okay, just giving it to you there. So I actually went to Ken and Joe Temple's book launch and it was fabulous. It was in Glee Books in Glebe and there was cupcakes and it was a whole lot of fun. And well, I mean, look at this picture over here. You can even see uh, Joe really getting into character actually um, in, in regards to the underdogs and you can really tell they had a whole lot of fun with this book. Now because I'm talking about underdogs I'm going to bring out all the other underdogs um, that I have including Dogman here who is kind of like an underdog too even though he's a bit of a hero and of course we have Bluey here as well. Bluey um, she's not really much of an underdog but you know she's always um, I mean okay. They're just basically blue, blue dogs, okay? That's the theme. Blue dogs are my theme here. And of course, we have Chewy, the West Tigers bear. Even though I'm not really a dog, I'm the West Tiger supporter. And by golly, we are underdogs as well! <laughs> it's okay, Chewy, it's okay. Even though the Bulldogs are underdogs as well, we'll still beat them off and go, West Tigers! Reason number one is that this book is a classic odd one out scenario. So kids, if you're out there watching, if you want to make a funny character, you can make them be different to everyone else in that setting or world. Case in point, we have Fang. Now Fang here is not only a cat living in Dogtown, she also wants to be a detective in the Underdogs Detective Agency. Now this is going to lead to a whole lot of chaos, a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of like what the, what's going on here kind of thing. But you know what? It works quite well. And that leads me on to reason number two, Fang herself. A lot of readers out there can relate to her. I definitely can relate to her as well. Because sometimes people will look at you because they feel like you're not up to the task. Or they feel like, uh, you're not going to do a great job in this because of blah blah blah. Fang here, can she make it out as a detective in Dogtown? Well, spoiler alert, yes she can. Because she's resilient. She never gives up and she's crafty and she wants to prove to Barkley and the rest of the underdogs team that she too can be a detective and she has certain skills that the other dogs don't have as well which is revealed in the book. So I really do love Fang. Reason number three is that this book is actually a mystery that the kids and readers can follow along. So it's very similar to the um, Real Pigeons Fight Crime series. So if you love that series, you're going to adore this one here as well. Kids and readers can actually follow the clues that the underdog agency are looking at. And they too can work out who the cat burglar is along with Barkley and Fang. So um, I love the fact here that um, Ken and John Temple have actually laid out all the clues. They've got a couple of suspects here as well like this um, critter here, Rat Sack, which is a really cool name for a rat actually, especially uh, a really nasty kind of rat like that. So um, love it. It's really cool. As the mystery unfolds, 
the reader, if they're clever enough, can look back and see, oh yeah, I remember those clues, or oh yeah, I remember that, I remember that setting, or I remember that incident, and they can go back, and they too can probably work out who the cat burglar is before or during Fang and Barkley working it out as well. So really nice. Of course, being a crime detective series, you're going to have cases, mysteries, crimes to be solved, and this one ticks all those boxes. Reason number four is the dog puns in this book. Oh my goodness, there were so many puns here. Now, Ken and Joe Temple are some of the most funniest Australian writers out there, and they go all out. They are barking mad in terms of their dog puns. And there are so many dog puns here in this book. You can really tell that they must have had a whole lot of fun. They must have had a hoot coming up with these dog puns. Let me give you a couple of examples here that I've written down. Some of my favorites, there are hundreds of these. In fact, you know what? You can actually read this book and every time you read a dog pun, you either go ding or you go oh. Well, if, you go, if you're groaning at dog puns, then you may not like this book that much. But you know what? I reckon they will wear you down and you'll love them by the end of the book. So, here's some of my favorites over here. We got fresh calamari. Ah, very nice, very nice. Um, claw enforcement said Fang sticking out a paw. Claw enforcement, love it. Here's my favorite one. My favorite one is on page 82, which is Jurassic Bark, Attack of the Dino Paws. Love it, love it, love it. So, if you love your puns, you're going to have a blast because there are so many puns. In fact, there are, there are puns literally on the first page. Look at this. Population, okay? On page three. So, if you love your puns, if you love laughs, if you love jokes, especially revolving around dogs and cats and other animals, then you would definitely adore this book. Reason number five is teamwork. Yes, this book is all about teamwork. And not just, you know, not just Barkley and Fang, but the other dogs in the underdog detective agency as well. Now, I love um, Shalor's uh, illustrations because they're kind of like on a smartphone, which is really cool. So the the profile cards are kind of like what you would read on a smartphone, which is really, really clever. So we got Carl here, who's kind of like um, the comic relief. There's always one. Um, I, I think back to like, you know, um, Hawaii Five-0. There's always that funny character, quite jolly. Um, doesn't really do his job that well, and Carl doesn't really do his job as well at all. <laughs> but I love this character here the most, Dr. Spots. She's a Dalmatian, and she's also the one that does all the technical gadget stuff, all the technical gadgetry <laughs> um, for the agency. So she comes up with all kinds of really cool gadgets, the vehicles that the agency will use, and all other kind of contraptions and inventions. And I can't wait to see her um, develop some more clever things as well for the next couple of books. So she's really cool and she's one to watch as well. Well, I mean, you can spot her from a mile away. Hey! That's one is for you, Kate and Joe Temple. So Tree Gum Gum, that is my hot take there on the underdogs catch a cat burglar. Like I say, this is actually book number one and book number two is going to come out very soon and it involves uh, art heist. So stay tuned for that. It's really cool. Um, Chewy the West Tigers Bear. Um, what kind of odd one out scenario would you be a part of? Well, I guess, um, I guess I've been to a couple of Canterbury Bulldog supporter games and I go into the crowd and I'm surrounded by other bears in... Um, blue and white scarves and beanies and what happens why well, get um i kind of get booed you get booed why well, boo them back yeah that's why right. go tigers go tigers okay thank you thank you there not quite the odd one out he's i think he's just more odd if you know what i mean um thank you so much for tuning in a big shout out to all the tree gum gums who have been following me from the very start including um, a girl named Candace. So thank you so much for your comments. Um, 
big shout out to you and all the other tree gum gums who have been watching my videos if you love this book let me know in the comments if you have read other books by Kena Joe Temple let me know as well because they have written a whole ton of picture books and junior fiction and they're really funny so I recommend you read their books ASAP also let me know in the comments if you would pick up book two as well of the honor dogs I think you should so um there we have it don't forget to like sub and share if you care and I will catch you guys in the next video I'm Oliver P I'm Chewie the West Tigers bear and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Woo! Woof, woof, woof. Meow.